Did you know that choosing the right Salesforce Sandbox can save you time and reduce potential errors in your development and testing process? In this video, you'll learn about the four sandboxes and secrets to picking the perfect environment for your organization needs. As the leading payment application on the Salesforce App Exchange, we see many customers using different sandbox types, and we want to share what we have learned to help you use them more effectively. My name is Robert, and I am from Charging. If you're a Salesforce admin or a consultant who is ready to learn about Salesforce Sandbox environments, then you're in the right place. Did you know that you can improve payment collections in Salesforce? Download the checklist linked in the description of this video to learn 10 tips and tricks. What is Salesforce Sandbox? Well, a Salesforce Sandbox is a copy of your production environment used for testing, development, and training purposes. It ensures that any changes you make won't affect your live data and processes. Let's take a look at the four main sandbox types available. One, developer sandbox. Two, developer pro sandbox. Three, partial copy sandbox. Four, full copy sandbox. Each has its unique characteristics and use cases. So let's dive deeper into each one. First up, is the developer sandbox. This environment is best suited for small scale development, testing, and integration tasks. It offers a limited amount of storage and it doesn't include any of your organization's data. You can refresh it once per day. Number two, the developer pro sandbox. This one offers more storage capacity than the developer sandbox, making it ideal for larger development and testing projects. It still doesn't include your organization's data, but you can refresh it once a day as well. Before we move on to the next two sandbox types, one important thing you should know is that you can reduce your account receivables and collection challenges in Salesforce with Chargent. Learn how you can save time and money by automating your accounts receivable process, and of course, testing first in a sandbox. Download the guide using the link in the description of this video. Sandbox number three is the partial copy sandbox. This one is perfect for testing and development tasks that require a sample of your organization's data. This environment includes your metadata and a subset of your data, which can be defined using a sandbox template. The refresh interval for a partial copy sandbox is every five days. Sandbox number four is the full copy sandbox, which is a complete replica of your production environment, including all data and metadata. It's ideal for large scale development, performance testing, and station tasks. You can refresh a full copy sandbox every 29 days. To help you choose the right sandbox type, consider these three guidelines. Guideline number one, for small scale developers, testing and integration tasks use a developer or developer pro sandbox. These sandboxes are cost efficient and ideal for small scale projects that do not require extensive data or resources. Consider this option if your project is relatively small with a few developers and it involves mostly coding and minor integrations. Guideline number two, choose a partial copy sandbox for tasks that require sample of your organization data. Using real data in development and testing can uncover potential issues not apparent with made up test data. Consider this option when you are doing user acceptance testing and user training. Guideline three, opt for a full copy sandbox for large scale development, performance testing, and station tasks. For situations that demand the most robust testing, an environment mirroring your production, set up as optimal as they include all metadata and all production data. Use full copy when you are migrating a billing system with an existing data. When you must ensure the highest quality testing use a full copy sandbox. Now that you know the different Salesforce sandbox types and when to use them, you can put the knowledge to work in your own org. Choosing the right environment to ensure a smooth development and testing process. And now, check out this next video, where you'll learn how to update charging packages in a sandbox in just a few minutes. My name is Robert, and I am from Charging where we're dedicated to helping you make Salesforce payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.